So in this tutorial, I will show a more advanced use of images to add a bit of an extra effect to the uh, to the surrounding scene. And the way we are going to do that is by, of course, adding the image itself. And then we go into this image, and what I've done is looked up a GIF file already. And this is taken from the internet. So type in the address here and then click on the preview and it will actually load it. You can modify the width, but for now that is okay. Press OK and then the image is loaded into the scene. Of course, it's way too big. It doesn't really match yet. So let's first make it a bit smaller to see what we have. Okay, so now you can see that the, the image itself is flat, it's like two-dimensional, but the television it has to go onto is, well, three-dimensional, as in it moves away from us. So let's adjust that image by setting this 3D image setting turned on, and then we can move it in there. And the way how we're going to change that is pushing this a bit back by going into the ry setting and then lower that so we're pushing slowly the image so now it really looks like it it's matching the same angle and to find our adjustment we can lower the alpha a bit so it's a subtle effect and what this means is that this is actually the uh, reflection of this window over here and if we put this on front of it it still shows so it really looks like this the television is just turned on so in this way it's a really quick effect and then if the user sees it, it you know it gets its attention so it appreciates that one thing i like to add is that not all images that you pick from the internet are allowed in this case, this domain here um, allows us to copy, well, not copy, to link to this uh, URL. Not all servers are doing that. So if you come up with a URL and from a server who doesn't do that, then you press OK, you will get an error message popping up here saying that is not um, that it cannot load it. If you get that message, then find another URL until uh, it does load. Uh, one other thing what you can do, of course, is just browse the local server for some pictures or upload your own images there, and then you can link them to them, of course, directly. Okay, so for now, this works perfectly, and if we're going to publish it, it will be visible on the player itself. So... That was it about the advanced method of using images. Thank you.